The Goose Creek field is the first place where subsidence of the land over an oil field was attributed to the extraction of petroleum. Subsidence over the Goose Creek field is well documented and particularly dramatic, parts of the field which were once above water are now submerged, and the area of subsidence exactly conforms to the boundary of the productive oil field region. The connection between extraction and subsidence was first recognized by geologists Wallace Everett Pratt, who published a 1926 paper. By this year, after about ten years of active pumping, most of the productive area of the field had subsided three feet, and the submerging of the facilities had already become obvious to field operators. Because of the sinking of the land containing the field, the state of Texas sued the Humble Oil Company for rights to the field, as technically the field had ceased to be on land but had joined the state water bottom lands, which were not subject to private ownership according to Texas law. Along with title to the field and the various private parcels within it, the state sought to collect the revenues from oil and gas produced since the land went underwater. The state lost the suit, with the court ruling that the subsidence was caused by the extraction of oil, and was therefore an act of man rather than a natural event. Humble oil continued to produce from the field. Subsidence of land due to either oil or groundwater extraction is now widely recognized, and the Gulf Coast is one of many places in the world in which it has become a serious problem. In the present day, oil fields underneath sensitive areas, such as cities, are usually repressurized with water or gas to prevent the land above from collapsing into the vacated space. Parts of the field have subsided nine feet from the original ground surface elevation since production began, while subsidence in adjacent Baytown has reached approximately six feet.